Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another card making video. Today I have a really fun box card for you. This is my barnyard box card. How fun is this little scene? That barn there in the background, the cow just sitting there watching the chickens in the hay and the cornfield. It's just such a fun card. It folds relatively flat for mailing, and there's a spot on the back for your message. Of course, I include an envelope as well. This card does have more layers than my normal box cards, but don't worry, it goes together really quickly. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step one, get the SVG cut file. Okay, here we are at my website, thebeardedhousewife.com. If you don't have an account on my site, you can go ahead and click the sign up button. You'll be brought to a page that has our different membership tiers. We have free, basic, and premium memberships. You can go ahead and choose which option is right for you. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. I'll go ahead and enter my credentials and log into my account. And now I'm logged into the website. To access the file libraries, you can head to the Files tab on the main navigation bar. Now this file is free, so those with free memberships can go to the free files page and find it there. Basic and premium members will be able to go to the file library and find the file there. I'm going to click on the file library. For this project, you're going to want to look for number 421. That is the Barnyard box card. Go ahead and download the file to your computer. Make sure to unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step two, upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Okay, now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open and upload. Highlight the image and click add to canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines and any text. Now that our project has been brought into our canvas, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. We need to do some converting to some of the score lines, so let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. We need to do the same thing for the outside box piece. Highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. And lastly, we need to do the same thing for the inside tab piece. Highlight the score lines change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. So we've converted the score lines on the envelope, the outside box piece, and the inside tab piece. Once those have been converted, go ahead and click Make It. And you can see the different mats for this project. Go ahead and click Continue. I'll be using medium cardstock for this card. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step four, cut out the design.
Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, so I have everything all cut out, so it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish the outside box piece. Just like that. I'm going to set that to the side for just a minute. Let's go ahead and mat and layer the messaging panel. Now we can take that and add that to the back of the outside box piece. All right, let's go ahead and set that to the side. Okay, now that that's all set, we can concentrate on layering together both of the different pieces for the inside cover panel. I do have a layering guide within the download that will help visualize how to layer all of this together. First, I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on the tree section. For the tree section, that is going to be the brown layer, then the solid green, and then the green with the cutout on it, and then the apples. All right, just like that. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. Now we can concentrate on the three main pieces for the barn. That's the dark red, the red with the slits here in it, and then the brown trim piece. Now let's work on the barn door and the windows. For the barn door, it's gonna be the solid red, the red with the slits, and then the trim piece. For the windows, it's going to be the window and then the trim piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer all these pieces together and then add them to the barn. just like that. Let's set that barn to the side for a moment. 
Now let's take our clouds and add those to the inside of the box piece. Just like that. Now we can take the tree section and add that to the inside of the box piece. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the barn on top of that. All right, there we go. The inside cover panel is all set. Isn't that cute? Set that to the side. Now we can go ahead and start to work on the inside tab piece. So we have the main tab piece, the two pieces of the cow. You're going to layer the white on top of the black, and then the two pieces of fencing. So I'm going to go ahead and layer those two pieces together and then add that to the tab piece. I do have a layering guide within the download that will help visualize how to do this. Before I layer everything together, I'm going to fold and burnish along the score lines of this inside tab piece. And now I'm going to go ahead and layer all these pieces together. All right, here we go. That inside tab piece is done. I love that little cow, he's so cute. Let's set that to the side for a moment. Now we can go ahead and work on the front cover panel. So for the front cover panel, we're gonna start with the yellow hay layer, then this pile of dirt, and then the chickens and the corn stalks. You can place the chickens and the corn stalks wherever you like on this front cover panel. I left it loose so that you can kind of decide however you want to place them. And there is our front cover panel. Now let's go ahead and start to add these to the box piece. We're going to have those sides of the box piece folded open. Add glue to the left side of the inside tab piece. And now place that tab onto the side of the box piece making sure to line up the bottom edge and along that score line. Fold the piece over, making sure to line up the bottom edge and give that a press. Now making sure everything is lined up, you can add glue to that right tab and then fold the other side of the box over and press. Fold the card both ways just to make sure that everything is laying appropriately. There we go. Fold the card to one side. Add glue to one of the tabs for the front cover panel and attach one side of the front cover panel. 
Again, making sure to line up the edges. And now repeat for the other side. Again, give the card a fold both ways. And the card is all set. Really, really cute. I'm going to set the card to the side to dry. Let's work on the envelope. So for the envelope, we're going to fold and burnish along all the score lines. This envelope is a little larger than normal. It's about seven inches by seven inches. So I definitely would hand deliver this one. Take our inlay panel, add glue along the outer edge. Then place the inlay over the cutout on the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around. Add glue to the bottom of those side flaps. With your thumbs, go ahead and push up and press. And that forms our envelope. And our card is all set. How adorable is this card? It's so much fun to make, especially this time of year when we're thinking about, you know, farms and fall festivals. It's just a really fun card to put together. I hope that you like it. If you make this card, I hope that you post it in our Facebook group. We have thousands of card making and paper crafting friends who love to motivate and support each other, and we would love to see your creations. There's a link down below for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next card making video. Bye!